today's episode, we're gonna build a network of belts that will deliver our items from each farm into our newly built storage facility. And we have made a beautiful port to add to the aesthetics of our factory district. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's go to today's episode. In the last episode, we have built this and also this. But in today's episode, we are gonna build... We are gonna build a port. So what do you mean by building a port? As you can see, our base is kind of stranded on water, as you can see. So what I want to do is build a port around this so it doesn't look weird. And in between episodes, as you can see behind me, there is a road. So what I'm planning to do here, this is our factory district. So when you come through here, there's gonna be an intersection that goes right here through another district maybe a city or i don't know whatever maybe some shops that sells the goods that we produce right here but i don't know but what i want to do here in the port i want to build something medieval like in the 19th or the 8th 18th century kind of thing and i have an idea what to build and we have a load of dark oak saplings as you can see right here we have 8510 dark oak or we can use spruce but i prefer to dark use dark oak because we have so many but i don't know if that's gonna contrast with our tough bricks so i'm just gonna grab a couple of those i think that should be enough for now speaking of let me upgrade my backpack real quick to diamond if i can upgrade it to diamond is there a diamond backpack yeah, there is. I just need to surround it with diamond. And I'm going to get my items. And start somewhere real quick. That could work just like that. And grab the diamonds. Is there an emerald backpack? No. Let's see. So there's gold, diamond, and netherite. So next here is netherite. Well, I can't craft that that's for now because we don't have access to that but i think yep that's massive for now there we go let's put our stuff in real quick and just like that look at the bag it's blue so i'm gonna work on this and come up with a concept idea on what to build and i'm gonna be back with you guys what i have created we have our design right here as you can see i have picked some smooth stone some frame slabs and some frame stairs as you can see this is the main road it's gonna be going right through here and it's gonna go down here to the port where everything is gonna be on the water duh then i put some indentation right here i think this is our design to be honest i like it especially the tough blocks but i don't know about the dark oak maybe i should continue it on but uh for now i'm gonna keep extending this until there and yeah let's get to building I have finished the part as you can see let me give you a tour hi so what I've done as you see as you saw in the montage I have completed it all around through here but I don't know what to do right over here because there are trees I could deconstruct the trees and bring the part right over through here to our tomato farm as you can see there is an incline right here and i don't want to deal with that right now because there's gonna be a road down here going through our next district and i don't want this to complicate with that so that's gonna be it for today 
Um, the port is looking mighty fine, as you can see. I need your suggestion down below on what I could add in the port. Maybe some things down here that will cover up this land or the water because right now it looks kind of funky without anything below it. As you can see, there's a monkey down there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this didn't take a long while, maybe 30 minutes or an hour. But what I want to do right now is, like I said in the last episode, if you didn't see that episode, it's going to be a link down below. Um, But for now, I want to connect up all our items into our storage network. How I would do that, I don't know. But I have a pretty rough idea on what to do. As you can see, if you go down here, if you go down here, there is a lot of rooms. I want to connect those rooms into different kind of sectors. For example, andesite is going, there's going to be a brass funnel here. Or a belt maybe going down there, going to this building. And the iron farm is going through below, right here, going down below going through our storage network same as our andesite and our blaze farm but maybe the blaze farm i should do because it's super super close it's just next door what i could do is as you can see in the last episode i made a portable drill this will dig a tree by tree area just like that and that will go into the next section i think <laughs> I don't know just yet, but that is the plan. Let's go from the center and let's tunnel bore. But I don't want to bore you guys with finding every cave there is. And I'm going to be back with you guys with some progress. That we have our blaze farm right here. What I could do is put some shoot. I can put the shoot down there that will collect our blaze rod and our experience and this i'm gonna move it to right there what oh what i could do is build some shoots and then a belt will carry will carry the items through right here what you can see is there is there is a gearbox right here that's helpful because that will run a belt i could just connect a vertical gearbox another one right there and that will do its job so what I would do is some shoots. I have a lot of shoots. <laughs> That's helpful. So I want to destroy you for now. And put some shoots right there. And that will shoot out. I'm going to bring it all down to right there. And I'm going to do a shaft and some belts. Put it right over here can reach i think it will reach yeah it will reach because we're gonna have a vertical gearbox right here gearbox which i'm gonna do which i'm gonna craft into a vertical and that is spinning the opposite direction nice so what i could do is make it like this there is a gear shift and a vertical gearbox which is controlling which direction that is so i'm gonna make a gear shift right now and i am gonna be back with you guys so as you can see here this is done actually so if i clear this filter that will drop the items into the belt as you can see down below and that will transport it to right here and what I can do is, I don't know just yet because I want it hooked up right here. What I could do is put a drawer right here and that will connect up to our ME system. Experimenting, right? So what I need is an importer and a drawer. So let me get a drawer which is can hold one, two items. So I can just do that. Nope. I need myself a temporary block like so. Just like that. And I need a brass need a brass funnel. Just like so. That will hook up to that drawer. And I need an importer right there. 
and a cable running up to the ceiling. I don't think we don't have enough, so I'm just gonna make more cables just like so. And if I input some items, for example, this disenchanter that will hook up and straight into our ME system, as you can see. Let me try that one more. And let's search this enchanter. There it is. So it's a pretty basic setup. What I could do is release all the items right here. As you can see, just right click those. That will fall into our thing. As you can see, that will go in straight into the drawer. And if you search blaze rod, we have four currently. Well, this will transport it. That will bump up to how many th those are. And let's do a nugget and let's do a drawer key that will lock it and quantify key. There we go. I think we can do some upgrades right here, like a speed upgrade, I think. Yeah, so speed upgrade right here. Which is an upgrade and some sugar and it's pretty easy. Let's see if we can make it. It's like that. We have a speed upgrade and we can put it up there. So hopefully this will f make it faster. Dead. But we need a lot. I think the max is 3 I think. So let's try to make 3 of this. Just like that. We have a full range of speed upgrades and it's going a lot faster as you can see let's set this to 64 and we can do it an upgrade i think yeah we have 25 of these so let's max that out and how many blazers do we got 500 and still counting and this system works there you go i'm gonna do this to all the networks above, all our items, the iron farm, the andesite alloy farm, the andesite farm, and this should be pretty easy. Also, I'm gonna get some lava and experience from the blaze farm as well. I'm gonna put it in a tank and I'll be and I'll be right back. It's done. So let me give you a tour. So basically this is from the iron, the tree farm, and the underside alloy farm. So if we go down here, we have a door, a secret door. <laughs> As you can see, there's three belts. One is elevated for the tree farm, so it doesn't collude with this. So if you go through here, this is the iron farm. As you can see, there's shoots all the way going down. And if you go through here, this is the underside farm. As you can see, right here. And this is the tree farm setup. Let me show you. So basically, you go to here, you go down here, and then up here. It's basically the same setup as we did in that area, but basically this is all shortened to accommodate all the farms. So we have separate lines for them so it doesn't inter interfere with one another. As you can see, it goes to this belt, to the single belt, goes down, then goes up. Then connect to this line and basically go to here and go to this brass funnel. Basically simple. Basically a belt and a chute. And I need to add a chute right here. But because this will not function, just so my OCD not be angry. So basically, and if we go to the other side, right here, as you can see, it's all working. The andesite farm is working. All the iron nuggets from the andesite farm is working. If we go through here, as you can see, all the iron nuggets are going into the belt and going through this andesite funnel, going down to the chutes and going to the belt that delivers it. Then same thing as the andesite goes down here and basically goes down to the belt, goes down here, as you can see, into this conveyor belt and goes to the brass funnel. It's fairly easy simple stuff but what I can do in the next episode is hook up like an exporter right here into a disenchanter that will convert the nuggets of experience 
into liquid experience so we can harvest those speaking of we have 100 of experience so far um by me just being around and as you can see we have maxed out almost to 64k so i made another four it's pretty simple actually to make but it's uh, time consuming by smelting and crafting 1k 4k 16k you know the drill actually I'm impressed with the amount of items especially the tree farm 264ks is just enough and actually it's more than enough we have 17k wood 10k gravel i don't know what to do with that 1k with iron and basically this is all our stuff in one unit this is actually pretty good so the next episode will be expanding this to our city district right over there in the savannah biome that's gonna be one hell of an episode and we have made it to episode 10 of this series you can see we have built massive factories with construction and we have a fire factory an andesite factory a blaze farm an alloy an andesite alloy factory an iron farm and then our storage unit the farm and tree farm that's a lot of farms and we're gonna expand sooner than ever but for now this is a milestone for us as you can see our factory district is growing not just by items but as you can see we're expanding it slowly but surely making this into a city so that's gonna be it for me guys i hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and if you have anything to say leave it like leave it in the comment section down below so it's me chili signing out